Welcome to Watercolors with Jaylene and thank you for joining me today. So for today's project I am going to be painting a little bird, kind of a whimsical little bird with uh, twigs and such hanging out of its mouth. I got the idea from a canvas picture that I have hanging in my bedroom actually. So for today's uh, little project I will go over my materials list real quick. So I have my watercolor paper. I also have got my pencil and eraser along with several size paint brushes because I'm not sure what I'm going to be using but I do have my 14 round, uh, is this 14? Yes, 14 round and number eight round, a number six round and then also a three quarter flat brush. I'm not sure if I'm really gonna be using that but I wanted to have it just in case. And so of course I do have my paint sets and uh, my Grumbacher paints and then my, wa my water to clean my brushes and a couple of paper towels. Now I did go ahead and I pre-mixed a little bit of paint. I'm using uh, Hooker's Green and the um, uh, Turquoise Blue. Boy, I had lost my memory for a minute there. And so before I get started, I would like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you could go ahead, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button and then also hit the um, little bell and you will be notified every time I put a new video up. I do try to post a couple videos each week. So to get started, I want to just I'm gonna take my pencil and just kind of do a light drawing of what I want going on here. And this is just kind of to, it's, it's not detailed, I just kind of want it here so that I have an idea of what I want to paint where. Okay, and I, I'm sorry if I seem distracted, I am, I live in Florida and I, my studio is in my lanai and I have two sandhill cranes out my window with a little baby. So I kind of keep looking up to see where they're wandering around to. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so then we can come down. Kind of ironic, I'm painting a bird, watching birds, right? Okay, so then this is gonna come around and uh, not really have any feet because I'll be running off the edge of the paper, but there will be a little bit of extra space at the top and I'm doing that intentionally. And then over here, I just want to have a few tail feathers hanging out. Um, this I do feel needs to be a little bit wider. See, that's why I like to use a pencil just to kind of sketch it in real quick before I actually start the painting process. Just to get an idea because I might and looking at it things may change a bit like this is looking a little wonky over on this side but not on this side so we'll have to kind of straighten that out just a little bit my little dog's sitting over there watching the sand hill cranes too she's thoroughly enjoying the the show okay so I do have that sketched out Oh, and I do want to kind of just pencil in where I want the eyes. I'm gonna want that stuff coming up a little bit higher. And this is going to be kind of a loose painting, so uh, you know I don't have to have everything real perfect, but I at least need to have an idea. So I guess I'm going to start with my number eight round brush. And I'm, the bird is going to be um, basically blues and greens. And um, I'm going to start with this paint that I mixed up. And I'll be working wet on dry. And I'm sure, you know, if you've played around with um, watercolors at all, there are several different techniques that can be used. Um, this is the wet on dry and I basically just want to get a little bit of color in here and then we'll go from there. Also, I think I'm going to switch to a larger brush actually. This is more space than what I thought. 
So I'm going to my number 14 round. And I just want to get some color in here. There's a lot of water on my brush. And not a whole lot of paint. But we'll be kind of layering some different colors to add texture to this. All right, so that does look a little lopsided right now, but we'll be fixing that, not to worry. And then I'm going to just grab a little, and put it up here on the head of the bird. I'm kind of going around the eyes. Oops, I did go into the beak area just a little bit, and that's okay. As we layer on, you'll see how making little mistakes like that can be fixed, or painted over anyway. Okay, so that is like the base coat of everything, and I'm going to go back to my smaller brush at this point. And uh, with this blue that I had mixed up earlier, I am going to add just a little bit of a darker blue to it. And in doing that, I want to go in and just kind of work these tail feathers a little bit. So you can see this is going to be kind of a nice, bright, fun bird. Okay, and then come around here. And I just want to add a little bit of color. Now this is the wet on wet technique. And wet on wet allows for some very nice um, blending in. And so the head part of this I think is pretty dry. So this is more of a dry on dry and going to take a little bit of paint off of that and I just want to add a little bit of color into the head. And turn this around just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little color here and there. Okay, so you can see this is pretty, pretty loose. All right, so I think I'll grab just a little bit of indigo and in where the eyes will be or are. I'm putting in just a little bit of the indigo for the eye area. And then for the beak, I'm going to grab a little bit of burnt umber and with very little color and a lot of water on my brush because I just kind of want to add a little color to this area. All right. Now I removed the paint from my brush and I'm just kind of softening this area a little bit with basically just some water on my brush. I want to move those so I can get to my paper towel a little easier. So while all of that is drying, I want to start filling in the twigs and such that the bird has carried off. And for the twigs, I'm going to use a couple different colors and this will be wet or dry on wet. No, it won't, it'll be dry on dry. So I just want to kind of put these in and then I'll be adding other colors also. Because this bird carried away all kinds of fun stuff. Taking it back to the nest. So along with that, I think I'll grab a little bit of a red. And you can use any reds or oranges, any color that you have handy or that you like. And so in with this, I'm just going to kind of add a little red here and there. Make it nice and full because he does have a mouthful. Okay. And then 
just to add a bit of pop or a bit of color to this. I'm going to grab a little bit of the lemon yellow and uh, we're going to kind of just put a few little dashes of yellow and it is mixing and blending a little bit with the other colors and that's great. Okay, so now this is, there's still a little bit of dampness to it, but I'm going to go ahead and work with that anyway. I'm going to grab a little bit of purple and see if we can't just kind of add a little color in here, a little texture. And then once I'm all done adding the color, I'm going to go in with my uh, Sharpie marker and that's when I'll start, you know, adding a little bit of character and uh, details to it. Sometimes I like to, when I'm creating a painting, I like to do the uh, Sharpie marker first and color it in. But then other times, like with this one, just because I'm not really sure what I, the look that I'm going for, it's easier to kind of put the color down, let that dry, and then go in with the marker and um, add the detail at that point. So, you know, it depends on what you're painting and uh, what kind of look you want or that you're going for as to what, um, you know, how you want to approach it. And you can see I'm adding just a little bit of purple and I think with the purple, I want to come up here and on either side of the eye and then up above the eye. And I'm just kind of dotting in a little bit of the, the purple to add some texture. Because this is kind of a kind of a rough feathered bird. I'm going to take a little bit of that purple and add with the the dotting I want to add just a little bit of texture down here as well okay and then um, I think that might be pretty good for for now and so at this point, I just, I'm going to want to go in, I'm going to want to let this dry so that we can then grab the marker and just kind of start having fun, um, you know, bringing it to life. So we're going to give this just a moment to dry. Okay, so I've given this a little bit of time to dry. I think there's still a couple of spots that aren't totally dry yet, but I'll work on those last. So to get started with adding some of the details in the character, um, I think I'll start with the eyes. And like I said, this is where you can start having fun, you know, adding, adding whatever to the, to the design, you know, just to give it character, bring it to life. And I like to add, you know, kind of some uh, kind of, I don't know, kind of rough, rough type of lines, I guess you could say. And this is going to be just a little uh, ruffled type of bird. A lot of texture to it. Now here is our beak coming down. And then for the different branches and twigs that he has snagged to take back to his nest. I wanna just kinda add some lines and texture to this. And it's really fun doing this because this is what makes it come to life. And you can do as much or as little as you want. And it's just easier for me to turn this, as you can see, so that 
I can keep the camera kind of, my hand doesn't get in the way. Let's add a couple dots in here. The little dots, they do add texture. So let's go ahead and do that on both sides. When painting or creating these whimsical little designs, it's always fun to add some dots, some squiggles and lines, and you know that just kind of puts a little bit of character into the whole thing. So now we'll come around we're just basically outlining the the bird. And then of course he's going to have you know wings. And down here and we want this to come down to show his side there. And then down under here where we added all of the little um, dotting, kind of, I'm just adding like little scallops to make it look kind of like layers of, um, not really scales, but feathers, so to speak. There again, it's more of just about the texture. So we kind of want to go down through like that. And then over here, we want to bring this, kind of highlight the tail feathers. Okay, see how cool it's starting to look? And it just was some, you know, putting down kind of some sloppy paint, but it's all with the marker at the end, you know, and having fun with it. And uh, I think here I want to add just a little bit more texture where that purple is at. And that's why it's kind of fun, you know, in the beginning as I was putting the layers on, um, that's why you, you want to put one layer of paint down and make it kind of light. And then the next one can be darker or it can be a different color. And then um, just kind of keep adding. And then with the marker, you know, going in and highlighting some of those different colors and textures. And that's what, you know, will really make it pop. So you can see that there's not really, you know, any fine fine lines and fine tuning to all of this. And you can always put in some um, like eyelashes or something like that if you want, you know, to add to it. And I'm just kind of doing this to make it a little more textured up around the eyes. Giving it just a little bit more of a character type of look. Then of course I can get crazy and just keep going with this. So I, at some point I have to pull myself in and say, okay, enough is enough. <laughs> Cause it is easy to get carried away. It's fun. All right. Well, I think really that probably is about it. I don't want to go any further. And uh, it's just a fun little uh, bird. And as I mentioned, start out very plain. And then it's the marker and the details and the drawing afterwards that brings it to life. And you don't have to be real, real specific with anything. You know, just have fun with it and do, but let your imagination go. And, um, you know, I could keep going and making it more and more textured, but I don't want to overdo it with this particular design. On my next one, I may want to do that. It'd be fun to do this bird in um, maybe like oranges, reds and oranges with some yellow 
that could be a really fun bird also if you wanted to in fact I'll tell you what let's just I just want to show you this so if we want to add a little bit more to the background of this we could always just kind of take a piece of paper towel and I'm roughly going to cover the, the bird the main bird and I'm going to hold that down so this is my big number 14 round brush I'm going to grab just a little bit of the blue paints with a lot of water and then we can you know do a little bit of a splatter on the background that adds a lot to it oops I'm kind of splattering myself Okay, so I didn't want to get like a lot of that on the bird itself. So now I'm going to go in and kind of tap some of that off. And then even with my brush, if I don't want just all of the, um, you know, the spatter, and if I wanted to soften that up a little bit, I can kind of dab that out. And then with my brush, now I do have just water on here, no paint. And just kind of go through and soften a few of those up and then leave a few as well and that can you know be kind of nice too actually I really like that look I'm glad I did that so just the options you know just grab your paints and have fun with it um, do as much or as little and see what you come up with it's all about having fun and I'm gonna delete that or dab that up there and there so I think that pretty much covers uh, what I want to do or as far as I want to take this particular little painting and um, I think I'm pretty happy with it at that point it looks really cute I might even put this in a little frame and, and put it in my bedroom as well to go along with the other one that's in there that that is actually a very large painting on canvas so i hope this helped uh, with your creative processes and your creative thinking uh, just a quick recap you know sketch something out whether it's a bird or a fish or a kangaroo just kind of sketch it out real loose sketch go in and add layers of paint um, I with this type of painting I do like to start with the the bottom layer and then maybe do a little bit while it's still wet so there's a little bit of blending going on but then let it dry and add other colors on top of that so that there's not the blending and so all of the different textures really add a lot to it and then grab your marker do your detail work and you've created a little masterpiece so that is it for today and as i had mentioned earlier if you have not already subscribed to my youtube channel i would really appreciate it if you go ahead and do that now it does help my channel grow and uh, if you've enjoyed this video then go ahead hit the like button share it with your friends your family and friends that helps my channel grow as well if you have any questions or comments leave them below i love to answer any questions that come in, I like to read the comments, as long as they're all positive, of course. And uh, just have fun with your paints every day and get creative. So until next time, ciao for now.